Hello everybody, that is here. Today I would like to start a new series or maybe it will be just one video in the end, I'm not sure. Uh, this is a customer build. I have a client uh, whom I built a case lab case a while ago, probably three years or something. Um, I need to look it up. I post the pictures for you to remember. Some of you who follow me for a while might remember this build. He came back to me and said, listen, I got another case lab case and maybe you can build it for me. I'm not building lately much, but it's kind of unique opportunity. The company went default. This is one of the latest models, uh, SMI 8, with the lighting panel in the middle. And probably we don't have much opportunity to work on case labs anytime soon, except my own collection of case lab cases. I own four now. I sold one. I have four. So maybe I'll work on those, but I don't have a SMI 8. So I said, okay, fine, I'll do it. What you see inside is just mock up of my personal parts because I try to write like wrap my brain about how i would like to do it basically it wouldn't be entirely my build in sense of um, i have a set of specification i was given and which i need to follow and play the best within framework that i was given so one of the main things kind of limitation if you will i cannot drill like anything in this case to modify it so things like uh, if usually people go for hard tubing or something quite often this panel get drilled those panels get drilled so you have everything that looks nicely apparently if you own case lab case which is not modified it works like twice as much as the one that's modified so so basically the, <laughs> the limitation here the client doesn't want to modify the case so I need to play out the best I can. The only thing that I was allowed to do, you see this is a panel, a removable panel that you can mount your reservoirs on. And um, basically we will drill some holes to mount brackets. But this is a removable panel, so it's kind of acceptable, but no drills on the body of the case itself. So this is one thing. Second thing that no choice whatsoever or what kind of reservoirs, it has to be to, I'm not saying it's a bad decision or anything, but nevertheless, it just was like specification. So, two Singularity Computer latest model version of the Protium Reservoirs with D5. Already see, I sleeved it the same color, almost the same color as a blue background color for this case. So, those, two of those will be somewhere. And that's a given thing for me. So, not much I can can do about it. Another thing that first we talk about doll loops but this became kind of tricky uh, with the tubing and now it will be one loop. It has to be two radiators. I think that for configuration we're having two components essentially but we'll have quad on the bottom, quad on the top. So two radiators. Massive overkill. Same time you can put fans very slowly so it's still it's kind of okay. And the main thing that I have to deal here is essentially how I'm going to play with the tubing because the hard tube became kind of tricky. To make it nicely, you prefer to have a holes and have this variety of the pores, at least in my opinion. Um, otherwise, it became a maze of the tubing crossing down, plus the bottom portion also, like how you go on the top part. So, a few cutouts here, but still, very, very tricky. So, something that we're discussing right now. And that's why I put this more cup in, is I consider to using something like ZMT tube, which is a rubber black tubing. It actually looks pretty badass in my opinion. And um, so that's something that I'm playing right now. So no decision yet. No components selected except of the block for GPU. This will be a heat killer a nickel version. Uh, similar what I have uh, in my own build. So. I showed it to my client, said, oh yeah, it's looking cool. So we're going to use that. For CPU block, it's AMD, obviously, not Intel. It will be heat killer as well. And two reservoirs, so the two main components. No selection for radiators yet. Fans, open question, and uh, things like this. So you see it's like early stages, but I just wanted to make this a uh, like quick introduction, if you will, in order to capture like the whole process and the thinking process. So you see it's, uh, I don't know yet how to do it, but eventually I will. As things will come up, I'll start filming it and um, hopefully it will be one or two videos. 
Hey guys, Dias is here. It's uh, one week past the time I shot a previous episode or previous snippet of my work. I'm not quite remember what I was talking about, to be honest with you. So, uh, apology if I will repeat myself. I believe the last time I was making uh, the first video, I still had my own uh, gigabyte motherboard with a bits power GPU block and uh, things like this. Uh, since then, all electronic parts arrive, so I have an Asus Prime motherboard, you see it's a white and black seam which is matches the case, so we kind of look into possible options, decide to go for that. Dominator RAM, I installed the heat killer CPU block in the nickel plexi and also a nickel plexi heat killer for 2080 Ti. So that's uh, what we have here. So now electronic are in place. Also, we used what I had in stock for Singularity Reservoir and Pump Combos. And the, the only tubes that I had, um, I had a 150 millimeter version and we upgraded it to 250. That's the only type of longer tubes I had. Uh, that's created a little bit of trouble for me because the a little bit too tall, you can see the pump basically almost sitting on the bottom of the mid, mid panel and I almost have no space to put, we wanted, basically custom wanted EK radiator or maybe black eyes, but essentially I have to go with dark side slim radiator here because I basically getting too close to, to the fans and I didn't want it because um, I still have space for fitting and things like this. So that's where we ended up with the Corsair fans. This is 140, this is 120. Quad and quad, total overkill. We're not discussing why. Customer wanted like this, probably will slow down fans significantly. And maybe thinking maybe to put second card later on. So we just went from maximizing radiator size for that reason. I think I can cut any corners I want because it's such a massive overkill. It doesn't matter how bad design I will do, it will be still outperforming any optimized design. So that's kind of uh, uh, other flip side of the story to going with uh, total radage overkill. So you can see is again, so I have those two reservoirs. I spread them out, have to put some painter tape, mark it up, drill the holes. If you remember last time, I have to say it. The requirement, basically no holes. For that reason, we're going with a soft tube, so to speak, mostly. But the only place where I was allowed to make holes was the holes for mounting those brackets. And this is the panels which is removable. So, case mostly intact without any modification. So, that's the target. We discussed a little bit about how we uh, first we wanted like two colors and we dropped to like one single loop with two pumps which I think more preferable way to be honest. Uh, we also discussed how we connect reservoirs because we um, didn't want any ugly tubing crossing across um, this um, area which especially because we have such a big window there. The initial plan was to connect two reservoirs together because Ideally, as I said, I always prefer to go from the top, feed the pump, exit. Second one supposed to be also on the top. But uh, first we didn't want to do it, so we wanted to connect those D5 tops just on the bottom. I even talked to Daniel Singularity and he confirmed he did it a few times uh, for the customers, but he also confirmed my suspicion that this portion of reservoir, of second reservoir, because we feed it from the bottom and exit from the bottom. So basically this portion of reservoir will be very stale and uh, no water uh, will be like mixing because uh, nothing happening in this area. It's a little bit on the bottom but por top portion wouldn't be uh, much of, of the thing. And um, so first, first iteration we decided to go like this and go with um, clear liquid one of didn't know the color but kind of clear liquid because when you have a clear liquid doesn't matter it's stale but it wouldn't really affect thing but if you want for example opaque like pastel or 
uh, IKEA solid, then you have to mix the thing, otherwise it starts separating and, and nanoparticles, they still not zero weight. So eventually they go down, so you have a clear liquid on the top and all the stuff accumulating on the bottom, so it's not cool. And after a lot of deliberations, uh, it basically we both agree that we go into some sort of compromise here. He really wanted to pay liquid, so for that reason I have to go on top. So what I mean, you don't see here, but what I will do, I essentially will have to run tube between lower portion of this reservoir or top portion of that reservoir. I still looking for way to do it nice, and I'll show you in the next episode. Uh, right now it's uh, still a uh, work in the progress. And other than that, the loop will be extremely clean. I use a cross flow radiator, so I don't need to run tube across here. So from the radiator, I go on top of this reservoir, feed my pump, then we go some sort of connection back to the top, exit, and then I go from the, I will, I will turn this reservoir 90 degree, and uh, I actually go with a flexible tube to the bottom compartment, which I get in, get out, and then again, I will come back to the GPU block so you won't even see the tubing. So the only soft tubing, like this is something here, but also this will be very small chunk of flexible tubing in, in this particular area, almost invisible. Then you don't see nothing. We're coming to GPU. Then I will have to run one connection to CPU block and from CPU block to the radiator. And that be create very clean, almost no tubing visible type of the loop, which I personally like. And I'm glad that customer agree with that because I, re I really hate all this extra um, tubes runs. Uh, it looks unclean for me for some reason, so I don't like it. Another thing that I would like to show you a little demonstration, instead of just keep talking, 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 that, um, I got here the perfect example how bad fans can sound when they get really close to some obstacle. It can be a radiator or it's also in certain cases it can be a side panel or top panel of the case. So you can see I mount those Corsair fans on the radiator and uh, we have a side panel that should be go there. So now I put on the fans connected to my external power supply. I found there's my here's my cable. All right. So 2000 RPM. All for fans. Typical sound, I would say, for the, for 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 the expect from from a fans. And but it's not so bad. I hope you microphone can pick it up properly. And now listen what will happen when I put the side panel and the surface side panel get really close to the blades and blades will be basically cutting through the air very close to the obstacle and that create additional sound which doesn't sound nice and i will show you in a second. just not comparable and it's really annoying type of the sound I would say so what I'm going to do here I will actually move my fans from this side of the bracket on the inner side of the bracket and and move radiator as well so um, yeah basically I will create a distance between those two the idea was to see those lights in a nicer way because they're close to the mesh but now they will be a little bit uh, inside of the case. But you can see, so I quite often people complain that, oh, I got fans, they're noisy. Maybe they're noisy because they're noisy, but maybe they're noisy because your design not very nice. So, yeah, that's what's happening. Wanted to show you a little demonstration here. And again, you can hear that that's not so bad. So that's what's happening. All right. So now, basically, what's going to happen? I need to implement this connection. Figure out the best way possible. 
and uh, run the rest of the tubing which is pretty easy pretty easy way first we thought to go with DMT which kind of makes sense because a lot of black accent everywhere but after we try to put actually white tubing in place I don't have a piece here but it turned to be looks really nice and also I it was interesting to know that how side, side panel make big difference so when when you have a case open like this it's it's a certain look but when you get side panel in place it might start looking a little bit different so it get more white and um, for that reason I think the clear white liquid that we're planning to do which I forget to mention it will have additional white accents everywhere and it will look pretty nice so that's what we're going to so far um, I like it I was a little bit concerned about tube running especially because it's kind of convoluted requirements like two radiators which when I don't think really necessary but we have it plus soft tubing because hard tubing would require additional drilling and that's something we don't want to do but it turned out to be very clean design I really like it so far but we'll see the final pictures and uh, I probably will shoot it I don't know if I can do it this week but for sure next week and we'll just one single video about it so that's what's happening here thank you for blowing me up and I will see you soon